Well, good day and welcome to part three in our series on how to build and automate an Obsidian daily note. Uh, we've already gone through and unpacked the daily note and put all the headings out so that everyone could see what was underneath those. And today what I'm going to do is to actually go through and build the headings for the template in preparation for incorporating the various components that automate it. Now a lot of this may be very basic for people who are experienced Obsidian users or even if, if you've had a little bit of experience with it. But I want to make sure that it's all covered so that any novice users uh, don't get confused as we move on to the um, adding the components. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is install a community plugin. And the reason we're going to do that is because it makes creating your daily notes a whole heap easier. So the community plugin that we're going to install is a calendar. So what you do is you go right down here to the bottom left hand corner to your settings, call up your settings, and then here on the left hand margin you'll see community plugins. Now if you don't see that browse and check for updates here, you'll need here to the to, in the restricted mode to turn that off so that you have access to the community plugins. As you can see, I've already got it off. So in community plugins, we'll go to browse, and then in in here we'll talk uh, type calendar, C A L E N D A R, and this is the one that you want here. Uh, it's got 561,000 installations, so obviously it's reasonably popular. And as you can see, I've already got it installed. When you click on that. It will ask you if you wish to install it, and then it will. It will then give you options here. Uh, and what it does is when you've got it installed, it shows you the number of dots on the calendar, which is just the, the number of words that you might have in your daily note. 250 is the default. Um, Monday's the start of the week, but you can change that if you want to. It asks you if you want to confirm before creating a daily note and show the week number if you wish and uh, override Lacar. Well, I've got it set for English Australian. So that's it, and now the calendar is installed. So the next thing we need to do is to go and have a look at our Daily Notes plugin. Okay, so before we actually have a look at our Daily Notes, there's a couple of things that you will need. And first of all is a place to store the template for your Daily Notes. And I have mine here. This I use a Johnny Decimal system for setting up my um, Vault. So I have Obsidian here at number 30 and I've got all my templates here at number 35. If I click on 35 and go down here, you'll see my daily note template is stored there. So it's it's stored in 35 templates. The second place you'll need to identify when you do the daily notes plugin is where you're going to store your daily notes. So I've got that down here under personal, 91 for daily notes, and then I set up my daily notes in years. Uh, if, you, if you have them all in the one folder, they can get quite crunched up. So, yes, I do have to change the folder every year, but it's only a once a year thing. So now that I've got those two things set up, we can go and have a look at the Daily Notes plugin and set the parameters up. To do that, you'll go down to the settings again, bottom left-hand corner, call it up, and here in the core plugins, you'll see Daily Notes. Click on Daily Notes and it asks you what date format that you wish to have the notes in. Now, the format by default is the international standard. I would suggest you leave it at that. That way you won't get confused uh, as the, the standard. So as you can see here, the new file location, any files, uh, any new daily notes created are going to be created in that uh, folder that I showed you earlier, that 90 personal and daily notes. 91.23-2023. The template file location is again showing there, as I showed you before, uh, under 35 templates and it's the daily note template. So it's referring to that. So that is all done. The other, the other option here is that you can open the daily note on startup if you wish. I choose not to do that. I'd rather create my daily notes as I go. So there we are, we now have the daily note all set up, uh, the, the, the plugin all set up, and we're ready to start with our template. Well now we need to start with a blank note, 
uh, to organize our new template. And the easiest way to do that, well, there's several ways. You can open a new tab if you wish, and then create new file, all right, and do it that way. Uh, or you can do Control or Command N, and that will also open a new note. And then you just want to give the name Daily Note Template. Now, I suggest that you always call any template template so that you always know that it's a template. If you come across it, you don't go amending something that you shouldn't be. Always a good idea there. Anyway, like all the good chefs on television, here's one that I prepared earlier. Um, daily note training. So now what we're going to do is have a look at what's here in what is known as the head matter or the front matter. Uh, tags. And I've, you'll see I've got two colons after that and I've just used the hash key, hashtag and daily notes. So all, all the daily notes that are being done will have that in it. And the created date, again with two colons and then the curly braces, two of them on either side of the term date and that what will that will do is that when we create the date when we create a new note for the daily note uh, it will automatically insert the date today's date the date that it was created um, or actually from the calendar the one for the calendar is one the top here is again in curly braces and that is the date format to call the date and that the three um, D, small d's there will be FRI or SAT, the abbreviation for the day, the day um, that it is, the month and the and the year. That's the Australian format. If you've got, uh, if you're living somewhere else where it's a different format, you just have to change these around and you'll get that format. You'll see that it's got a single hashtag at the front, which means that it's a header one tag. So this is the top tag in the note. If I close that down, it closes everything down below it. All right. So then we have our daily note. Now I use emojis uh, in in my in my note, uh, but you don't have to, of course. Uh, uh, you can put in a plugin for those if you want to. And then all of my tags pretty much are um, at, well, the top ones are the heading twos from now now on. So let's go and have a look what's underneath the daily note and the notes. So here we are back at our daily note and let's just unfold this now and underneath it you'll see all the other headings that I've got there. So this is the activities for the last week. Uh, that will be automatically populated. What articles I need to write that will also be automatically populated. Tasks I plan to accomplish soon automatically populated, populated again as is today's tasks. What happened today will also have some uh, automatic information in there, but it also can be expanded on in either a text-based journal or a bullet-based bullet journal uh, for any information that you wish to record for the day. Anything that you've read, listened or watched that you might wish to make notes on, any ideas uh, that you've had, uh, that can also have an automatic uh, component to it. Today's wins is just simply uh, a text-based one, and so is what you're grateful for and what you might be struggling with. Now, you don't have to have all these, of course. Um, you could have a lot more. It's really up to you. It's a daily note. It's a personal daily note. You have whatever you like, obviously. I'll just show you how I do it. So I'll just close this part down here, and then below that, I have notes, and there's notes that are created today and the notes that were last touched today. So again, these are both created automatically from the system, depending on what, um, what notes have been created today and which notes I have actually worked on today. And that's the daily note template, all set up, ready to go. And in the next video, we will start exploring the different components. So now we've got our daily note template set up, I'll just show you how easy it is to use. Once it's done and stored, all you do is go to the calendar, pick your day that you want your daily note for, click on the day, pop-up comes up asking you if you want to create the note, hit create, and there it is. It's pulled it up straight away, it's populated it with the, uh, the day, it's given it a heading for Sunday the 2nd of April 23, 
and then it's ready to expand any of your data. That's all there is to it. Well, that's it for today, and I hope that's given you a pretty good idea of, of how you can set up a daily note template. Uh, and if you go and do that over the next day or so, uh, you'll be ready to start doing some, uh, some magic within yours too as we go into the next series. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Cheers.